Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer from Sun Dragon Cards and uh, I am here to show you this flip through um, from digitals are from Donna at uh, Twisted Paper Studio and um, unfortunately I had a video that showed the process of me making this cover and um, it got deleted, so I apologize for that. But so this is the final flip through, and uh, which will also be um, on my Etsy shop. So what I did was I um, uh, took the lace, took the Don, one of Donna's um, digitals here, a flower digital, and glued it to, glued it to the top and then um, glued the, uh, was a handkerchief, a doily handkerchief, um, front and back, cut the corners so it was a square. Then I cut the corners up on top, added this piece of lace here too, and then added um, these doilies to, um, so I can attach this is uh, from a vintage scarf. And then I put the um, cover, the lace cover over here to make this little, this little small slide pocket. And this is um, one of Donna's envelopes antique envelopes in her shop. I will have um, everything linked in the description. Um, and here I think I've got some, this is paper roll. Yeah, that's just a good size amount of paper roll right there. And here's a little belly band with some original little ephemera bits. And then some tags made out of Donna's digitals. Digitals again. A lot of these. I try to make lots of um, journaling space. This is all. It's not glued or anything like that. It's just connected by this little clip. Just that journaling space there. Lots of journaling space. And I didn't decorate it too much. I just did a lot of attaching, attaching of tags. So there's lots of room to do your own decorating, uh, your own journaling, whatever you um, find in your creative spirit. Just another dark tag. This too is a Tag. These are kind of neat. These um, this is talk about free craft paper. When you go to the like Lowe's and to the paint department, these are a lot of fun to just pick up uh, those paint samples for free. It's an original, original Ephema postcard. These um, pages, by the way, are, are original as well. And I've tried to reinforce them with um, washi tape. And this I didn't glue together. Um, I thought this would be just fun for um, the recipient to have um, a little lace cluster, some paper, and that way you can decide where to put it. And here 
here is uh, some wallpaper, antique wallpaper. Made um, little scrappy doos. This one was a little bit of a different scrappy do. I had this odd shape kind of wallpaper and it was torn and I just thought I would wrap it around like this and um, add, this is just wrapped it around some vintage pieces of um, paper. Yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. And here are some more scrappy doos. Different pieces of paper. This was from um, oh, a letter, a piece of letter. Apparently something that cost 186 and 11 cents. Let's see, what did I have here? Oh, I need to put something there. Let's see, maybe I can put a fabric cluster there. Uh, how about something? Something like this kind of has that green color. Just put it right there. Just like that. Yeah. This is some vintage. Um, this is actually uh, a vintage shorthand book. And this is another one of um, Donna's pockets um, envelope. Vintage envelope digital uh, made into a pocket. And this is vintage. Uh, I made this into a ruffle, a vintage fabric. Actually, this was um, from that bassinet, um, part of the bassinet uh, fabric lace that I, re I received and tore up. Found it at an estate sale. I want to share that. It's just beautiful. It was really, really hard to tear apart, but this is the bow that goes on the top, that went on top of the bassinet on the cover part that, where the head goes. And then look, isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? When I saw that, I just about died. I couldn't believe that was being, and so I tore it apart. This is like the lining, I guess. And then this is um, more lining underneath it. But lots of fabric to play with. This is kind of like a silky type of a fabric on the bottom. And then this part is like a cotton or linen. And then of course, this is just, this is the lace, the lace. But this lace here is, I just, I just love, love, love this lace. I don't, I just, you know, I just, just gonna have to hoard it. Do something. Hoard it for a while and then make it into something, I guess or use it and force other things. But that is, this ruffle here was part of that uh, lining in there. This is like just an invoice or from ledger, ledger paper. And this little pocket. And here is more of that. Um, lace that I made into a ruffle on a tag.
And here is another one of Donna's uh, and vintage envelopes. And I've got some uh, vintage goodies in there. And um, this is a little vintage envelope. And I've got some um, antique buttons. This is the back. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, this will be on my Etsy shop soon. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. Thank you so much, too, for our new subscribers. I just, um, I am amazed that in this community, how much how supportive everyone is of each other. And I just love that. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for um, watching me and joining me and um, crafting along with me. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.